let's start with when they walk through the doors for the for the party. Katrin and Kwame were first. <laughs> what's, your, what's your opinion? Do you know what with him? I've been saying this. I just feel like he has some secret life. Either he's married and he, him and his wife know that he's on the show for fame and for exposure, maybe. I don't know. I just feel like he has this proper secret life because he's just, there's a difference between being private and just trying to like, like you've got secrets and you're trying to block everything out for a reason. It doesn't make sense because you know the type of show you were getting on. So what do you oh. mean? You don't want to make sense? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And he seems like he's sort of dim in her light. Of course he is. Yes. He's been very shady. He's been very shady. Yeah. yeah. And I think because of the type of woman she is, not like she's embarrassed, but I think she doesn't notice how much he's changing her personality. You think she doesn't notice? I think she does, but then why is she not staying more? I think maybe she's trying to be respectful because she's being rep- like she's a representative of like black people and black women. That's the way I'm looking at her. That's exactly yeah, how I'm looking at her. She's holding back. I definitely feel like she has a lot to say, but I do think it's a thing where she's very mindful that she is a black woman on the show. And I yes. think it was one of, you know, the lesbian couple? Yeah. The one with, yeah. She said something like um, she doesn't have an opinion on anyone's relationship. And I think that's another thing she's being mindful of. Because you know when we like express ourselves, it's always being taken as like we're aggressive or we're this or that. But you can tell she's a wise woman and she probably does have good advice for everyone, but she knows how they're sensitive and a bit two-faced and she's being mindful of how she speaks. I also look at her in... Because she hasn't spoken so much about other people's relationships, because she knows the question will be pointed back at her. Mm, yeah, that That's the sense. way I'm looking at it. Yeah. yeah. Especially tonight, I mean last night's episode, where they've come back from their homestay. Everybody was talking about their homestay, but don't ask me about mine. Yeah, she was very like, they were waiting for her to naturally say it. Yes. And they're very passive people. Ah. So if she doesn't say anything, then if they don't ask her, I don't think she'll say. But maybe if they ask her, she'll find a polite way to not answer. That's oh, right. She- yeah, I agree with you on that one. But did you notice, like I said, the body language when they walked in? Normally, them two are hand in hand or, you mean, swinging up. But last night episode, they walked in separately. He had his he had his hands in his pockets. Yeah, it was just very standoffish. Yes. Like walking in a fight with your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. The whole thing was awkward. I thought after that homestay, the whole dynamics has changed after that yeah. homestay. Well, because I think I get, like if he really is genuinely trying to be private and maybe, like because at first I was thinking, okay, maybe he does really like her and he's taking her seriously. So he doesn't really want to go on about having sex with her on national TV. So then I was thinking, okay, he can justify that. But then it's like, even if you're trying to do the homestay in secret and it's not with the cameras, but it's like, I think she thought she was playing along and respecting what he wants. Mm. But I feel like he might just be selling her dreams. Like, this is, is. On, a, on or off camera, he'll be the same. To be honest, I haven't been convinced from the beginning. Yeah. But the minute he walked down the aisle, I thought, oh, here we go. We've got a joker here. Yeah. But, but I don't know. One of them said that they feel like he likes he likes Whitney. But I, I, said, I said that. Oh, was it April that was trying to like stir something? That's like, when, right, on the dinner yeah. table. Yeah, yeah. Because when he said, made the comment last week about um things trying to steal, what's his name's girl? <laughs> he just seemed like a bit eager to say it. Oh, yeah. no. I made that comment as well myself. As in, ha- did you notice how he sort of stirred it up by <laughs> yeah. saying, "Yeah, look, look at the man who's trying to consult and so yeah. he's trying to steal his girl as well." Something like that. He said. Yeah. And I said, "Yeah." He's trying to stir something, and it's because of Whitney. Like, I feel like he doesn't really appreciate the queen that Keisha is. Right, okay, okay. Because when he was making little comments about her being ladylike... He did that very much at the beginning, in one of the champagne receptions, where yeah. he mentioned about... Did she pick, like pick a up a beer bottle, bottle or something? She picked up a beer yeah, bottle. Like, yeah, that's not very ladylike. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, he just seems like a fake Wakanda type. <laughs> a fake like, Wakanda? <laughs> Fake Wakanda. Like, <laughs> it's hard to 
hard to kind of like uh, pin down yeah, his character. I look at him, I think, oh, here we go. <laughs> like, like, that's my attitude. It's like, here we go. Here we yeah. go. We, we couldn't find a better representative. We, we just couldn't oh. find a better representative. Exactly, yeah, because he's the only... Oh, he's the only black man on it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think at the time, like... But I don't know. This is my first season watching it. And I'm, obviously, I go by, like, the Instagram comments and stuff. And, like... Oh, I don't of... watch any... I don't do any Instagram, no, really? any of those things. Yeah. Because I don't, yeah. I don't want my... I don't want my... um. I, you mean how I'm thinking yeah. about somebody to be... Yeah, to be clouded by... by... Yeah. I feel bad for Keisha because I feel like... Oh I don't know. I feel like maybe she was genuine if it was the right person. Yeah. yeah. Keisha went in for the re- right reason. Yeah, Keisha went in for the right reason because even at the wedding, you saw all her family there. She wasn't exactly. playing. She wasn't playing. Yeah. Whilst with him, all you saw is just pure man. Exactly. None of his family members, exactly. nobody. And yeah, from the moment I saw that, I said, "Here we go. We've got a joker here." Yeah, it's like he wasn't. He knew he wasn't in it for real. I think from the get go, I've always just felt like. He came on it for a reason. Maybe he thought he would get exposure. I don't know how the show was presented to him as to why he thought he could get into it but not have to really commit to doing any of the relationship mm. stuff for real. But I don't know. I feel like there's something behind it and it, God knows if we'll ever find out. But I just feel like he just has a secret life. Of course he does. Of course he, he does. Has a secret life. Like, I don't know if he's he married or just like, he never, he, like, I don't know what it is. Because he's been married before. He's been married uh, before. Yeah, I remember him saying actually. Yeah. yeah. So that that makes me question as well. I'm thinking, okay, he's in a relationship for 15 years, married, married, married for six of it. Yeah. And I thought, so, oh, are we talking about the same person? You're in a relationship with the same person for 15 years, oh, and yeah. after nine years, you decide to get married. Yeah. What took you so long? He seems like maybe like it's just like, what are we doing to that point of like. Mm. He didn't do it because he had to. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's an so, odd character. He's questionable anyway. I just find him questionable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, he's been. What's it? How would I put it? Playing with Keisha all the way through this. Yeah. When Keisha asked him a question about where we're going or anything to do with the relationship. Yeah. He never seems to be able to answer it. He always answers a question with a question. Yeah. And I think like it would have been really nice to see her loved well and taken care of because yes. I feel yeah. like she is such a powerful powerful representation and different from what we're usually shown on TV of what a black woman is. I'm with you. Yeah, and I feel like I don't know, it was a, like you said, out of all the black men they could have picked. That's what I'm saying. Had a better representation. Yeah. 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 They picked wrong there. They picked wrong, terribly wrong. Definitely. Yeah. But anyway, coming away from them, um, then we had Jenna and Zoe that walked in. And yeah. They were, talk- they were talking about their living situation. Oh, gosh. Zoe's saying yeah. that she, she can't see herself moving to Blackpool or wherever it is. Yeah, she was like, it was a seaside when the sun was out. And then after that, she was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like with them two, I do like them together. But at the same time, I just feel like outside of the show, will it work? Because they seem like two very different characters. I hear you. And it's not even just the vegan thing. I think they just seem like, like you can tell they're both from where they're from. And I don't yeah. know if they would mix well in each other's worlds. Yeah, they're from t- two t- totally different worlds. They're from totally different worlds. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to imagine how these two work, like you said, outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. Um, I, I can't see them... I can't see them surviving just straight up. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Like they just both seem like they, and it's not a bad thing. I think they just both seem very comfortable in their worlds. Yeah. And I just don't see if, like, I don't think they what they have is strong enough to want to change that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially, like, I think with women, it's different. It's emotions. They probably built up who they are as women, very independent. Oh. And it's not to say what they have isn't genuine. I just think it's like, I think in this day and age as well, after lockdown and everything, I feel like people work so hard to just live a life that they're happy with, and they both seem happy with their own lives. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But the thing, the thing is with Zoe as well, she, li- she lives um, in Staffordshire, in Stafford. Yeah. But I remember with her VT at the beginning, 
she mentioned about I think there's about two or three lesbians in, in the town or something like that. I remember her saying. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm thinking, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's true. So, where do you intend to meet these people? Yeah, that's if true. You don't actually. move. If you don't move. But you can tell that she hasn't been exposed to like going to a different city and living in a different but this is my point like I said because yeah. she's from a certain small town wherever it is and like I said there's only everybody seems to know everybody in the town from the sounds of it the way she was talking and there's only yeah. like so many lesbians on one hand you can count on one hand in the town exactly. I'm thinking where do you where do you plan to meet them then if you don't move yeah. out from where you are but it must be like a shock to the system for her now when you pull it like that because I forgot all of that but just mm. like going to a different like city like trying to work in a different environment. Like, you know, those, like people that live in those areas, it's kind of like that factory lifestyle. Like you yes. do the same thing every day, probably all yes. go down to the pub one day. Like, whereas like when you go somewhere like Blackpool, as much as we see it as like a seaside place, there's people that actually have a life. And yes. I think they're kind of doing it up a lot there as well. So it's becoming more like gentrified. And, and But I think they're doing a lot there and a lot of money's being invested there because yeah. there are a lot of gay people and it's, there. And so. it's, a, what, it's a city, isn't it, Blackpool? Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, so. Things would be different, but yeah, with those two, I just can't see where it's going. Yeah. Okay. Same. So, and then we saw Whitney and Matt walking. Oh God! Yeah. So the new, the new couple. <laughs> but they come as a date. They're coming as a dating couple, not as a married yeah. couple. Yeah. So, what do you think about them? I don't know. I do like Whitney. I think she's very misunderstood. I feel like she acts very tough because maybe she has to, but. And I, th I think she seems like she's got a lot of stuff, but she is really like kind and sweet and stuff, but you don't really get to see that side to her. There's a glimpse of it. But I don't know, I just don't really like Matt. He just seems very ignorant, very petty. I just feel like he just waits for a moment to be like, yeah, you thought you had me there, but I've got you. Like something that <laughs> the way his delivery sometimes, he could be a desperate housewife, honestly. Oh no. Like, but yeah, mm. I don't know, like, I just don't really like him, but. Whitney does seem happy, so maybe they are like a good match. I don't know. Uh, this, this is what we're going to have to wait and see, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Or is she happy or does she just have to be now because she's kind of like, like made her bed and has to lie in it? Well, this is it. the best of a bad, the best of a bad bunch is is how you'd say it. I don't know because like I was like very much rooting for her, but at the same time, how she was acting at the beginning of the show, I'm just like, why go oh. on the show? Like, it was so confusing to me because I was like, and then she no. said off camera. But I was like, no, but you were acting this way with him before you even, like, met him. Like, That's met my him point, which is, which is why I'm not too, what's the word? Um, I'm not convinced by her. Yeah. I'm not convinced by her because, as you said, she was acting that way before she even met Duca. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So I'm not convinced by this holier-than-thou face that you've got going on at the moment. No, it's true because it's like, I don't know. I do like her because I think she's funny and she does add something to the show. But at the same time, I think with a lot of them, you can't really work out who they really are or if it's a character that they're putting on. Yes. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. But okay, then. so moving forward, they, the dinner party starts. And then we have Matt giving a speech. There's an awkward silence. Nobody wants to talk. <laughs> He loves holding the room, doesn't he? Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Too much. It's too much. Yeah, so he's giving his, his speech. And then we have... And then we start to get the letters oh, that gosh, come yeah. through. So uh, the anonymous letters. Yeah. So we had Shanita and Jordan to start with. Mm -hmm. And someone mentioned about... Um, something to do with the logistics of where they live. How is it going to work outside the experiment? Because they live like two hours apart from each other. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And and Jordan got a bit defensive in, in regards to that question. That you, you mean, how, how, how does anybody know how, how yeah. this is going to work? I don't know, with them two, I do like them together. But I, I think that they've been very, like, cushioned by the show and the experiment. So it's true, when they do come out of it, how is it going to work for them? And I do, I do still have hope for them. But he did throw me off a bit. I think he maybe got scared. With the love like, thing, with the love, love thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm thinking what? You, you're not moving in because un until she tells you she loves you. Now he's going to have her guard up to be thinking like, do I, don't I? Like, 
I don't know. Is it like she doesn't want to force herself to say it? She's just no. enjoying what it is. What it is no. I don't think with their living thing, they've got time to figure it out. If they're serious, they would have to go through phases of like looking for a job, and that will take time. Like if that. they're both using their own schedules. I think that too, like a lot of people don't have time to be sitting around with their partner that much anyway. It doesn't so work like that. that. Yeah, like on a, she's a social worker, so I'm guessing she works Monday to Friday. Right. So I'm guessing like she could arrange to go and see him, he could arrange to go and see her. It's two yeah. hours, not 20. I believe that's how it's going to work. I believe that's how yeah. it's going to work to start with. It's not going to be automatically the minute, the minute you leave the, the show, you're going to start looking for places. It's not going to work that way. Yeah. You would have yeah, to you're kind of take time, time go for yeah. weekends. He comes down for a weekend and, and find your way. Exactly. Because I was thinking at first when he came back and like she made the comment about um his mum saying that she was kind of like a part of the family. She took to, I think I could see his face that he was like, as a car, did his mum say something different to him or something? But I think he was just getting scared because he had a I hear you. I, I, I saw his face as well. Now you just yeah, said that. Like, like, did his mum really not like her or something? I, I don't know. What, what's that look about? You know, think, oh, okay. No, maybe for him, that's when it was getting real. I don't know if he was scared, maybe. I don't know. Right, right. Yeah, I don't right. know. But I'm hoping that, like, the mum was genuine because from what I saw, she did take to her well. You think the mum didn't take to her, did you say? No, she did take to her. Oh, well. she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. said it wasn't a lie unless we'd missed something. But... Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know I what that's about. He's he, he using the love thing as an excuse because, like I said, he's scared. Yeah. He's anxious, not sure what's going to happen next and yeah. Yeah, where it's going to go. Yeah, yeah when so they he's, 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 he's protecting himself in a way, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so moving on from them, we had... Um, Oh, there was a conversation with Keisha and what's the, the couple? Sophie and Jonathan. And oh, yeah, yeah. they were talking about living with somebody. Oh, yeah. So Sophie she said actually... she'd never lived with a man and so did Keisha. Yeah. So yeah. she'd never lived with a man. But then Keisha turned around and said, that's what I'm looking for now. Yeah. But she was directing the question right at Sophie. <laughs> She's expecting my man to be listening hard. Yeah. And you listen to what I've just said to her. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah, because she just seems like, because I'm not sure if I've missed it, but I don't know how old her children are. But I think she said but she doesn't have... One of her kids is about them. 20. One of her kids oh, is yeah. about 20. She had a, a child at 16 and she's 36. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. So she's just at a stage of like living her own life. Like, That's and, it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It's, I think it's like probably like another lifetime for her because she's she's done the mum thing obviously she's always going to be a mum but now she can sort of start afresh and exactly like, probably doesn't want any more children but just wants to live and enjoy her life with someone mm. Mm. well yeah. hopefully this is a good way for her to meet someone new <laughs> put her out there <laughs> it is sad though it is because i think sometimes he does feel like oh like he feels a bit embarrassed like when you he's can like, see the embarrassment yeah, like he doesn't know how much she's gonna say as well. Yes, so he always gets a bit yes. <laughs> nervous. Like, oh my gosh, she's gonna stop there. Like, what the, man's she... the man's scared. The man's scared, thinking, yeah. "Oh God, what's she gonna say? What's she gonna say? Please don't throw me in there. Please don't throw me under the bus." Yeah, you can see it in his face. He's waiting for him. what's her next move. What what's she gonna say? Yeah, yeah. And it's sad because I feel like it shouldn't really be that much of a thing, but it is just like how much they have to police themselves as black people. Mm. Because I feel like we're not, we get to see her personality, which she's really good at doing, like showing us who she really is. Mm. But I feel like there's so much, like, people might think she's getting being taken for an idiot, but she knows what's no, going on. But that's and what I said, I'm, I read her very well, I think. Yeah, you. she knows what's going on. I can see you, Keisha. I can see you. I can see you. You're burning right now. You're burning <laughs> right now. But you're holding it down in such a way so well, she people can't that. see what's really going on in your head. Yeah. Yeah. She's trying to save face because you're not going to do this to me and, and, and make me embarrass myself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably um, that might be what he's waiting for as well, just for her to kick off to even <laughs> use that as an excuse, maybe. Mm, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I never looked at it that way. That's true. But she's okay, not so silly, though. Huh? She's not silly at, silly at all. She knows what she's doing. She's oh, she knows what she's doing. She knows what yeah. she's doing. Yeah. And then we had um the anonymous letters we had Jen Jenna and Zoe were told to be more tactile. Well, Zoe was told to be more tactile with Jenna yeah. because she's not that... She don't do PDAs. Yeah. 
she don't yeah. do tea. Well, she hasn't had that much pre pre um, practice of being the only gay in the village. <laughs> <laughs> but they took it well. They took it well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of criticism in their letter at all. Yeah, was, none at all. Yeah, quite straightforward and, yeah, very light-hearted. And then, yeah. like I said, we had Shanita and Jordan with the logistics. Okay. We also had Sophie and Jonathan. And the letter was about Sophie being afraid to confront Jonathan and being the peacemaker in, in a lot of... Yeah. You know, I don't think she she's so much the peacemaker. I think she's just, like, very intelligent and she just knows that a lot of what he says comes out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. people struggle. It's like I think a lot of people that come from where he comes from, and not just because he's white, but they'll travel and go to, like, a a hotel and think that's called traveling. You're not going down and like really experience in the locals or anything like that. So I think she knows that a lot of what he says comes out of ignorance. Mm. Because I think when they were all getting onto him, you could see that he was a bit upset. So he doesn't do it and like, yes. as much as he can say no, like I don't care about hurting people's feelings, he does care. He's, start, he's starting to change now. Initially when yeah. I, when he was on the couch with the experts, oh, he got me fuming. His attitude just stank. Oh my exactly. god! But, yeah. but he comes from like a small place as well, doesn't yeah, he? He comes from a small village yeah. or town. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about them too long term because I feel like at first I was like, oh yeah, like she was saying that she would want to still work, and he seems like someone that could be a stay-at-home dad. But then I was like, she seems like she would have to dumb herself down a lot for him. Yes. Even when she went to his hometown, the way she was dressed is very different to what she would normally dress. Yeah, you notice that. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with her like liking material things. She works for it. She doesn't seem like someone that is like, I don't know, just a bit tasteless with it. It seems like it's like she, it's her reward for all her hard work. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm. I don't. Yeah, think I, I, I question. I do question that that relationship there. Yeah. Yeah. They they look good together, but long term, I, I, no. I, I can't see it. I think it would just be mentally draining for her. Oh, yeah. Always have the PC him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so who do I have next? Um, oh, right. Okay. While that conversation was going on, you also had Thomas butting in and putting his pennies worth in, in yeah. regards that you shouldn't, you shouldn't talk, talk about a woman's body or whatever it is he was saying to Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And then you also got him telling, I think George it was, don't speak to me. Don't speak to me. I've got yeah. nothing to say. I think it was wrong with you. What? What? Do you know what? With him, it's like sometimes I get him and sometimes it's just like, just be quiet. Because <laughs> if they are doing whatever they're doing, you're just making yourself look like the bad guy. And I yeah. think Aiden's very aware of that. So he was like, when he said to George, I don't want you to try and use him as the scapegoat because he's the easy target. Yes, I remember Someone that. Even if he isn't in the wrong and there's things going on off camera and conversations off camera, just because he's so much, like, it's just, just making him look bad. Like, it's just Maybe. making him look bad. He doesn't always need to, just don't talk to them. You're making it, if they are fake, you're making it so easy for them, easy for it to look like you're the problem. But I, I think he likes the attention. I think he does as well. He likes the camera on him. Yeah, but then I do feel like, is it a bit of a toxic thing where... Like, because I have seen a change in him, but like they were saying before, like Adrian, what they said in his letter about Adrian kind of is his piece, but he's not. I was Adrian. coming to that. I was coming to that, but carry on. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, I think with Adrian, like you see that he's a bit more on edge, and he was such a he's calm guy. On edge. And you can't help yeah. it with him, with Thomas. Yeah. And it's like, at times I feel like RB could be a good match, but then there's times I'm just like, but is it too risk for too much of a risk for Adrian? Like, will he completely be like lifeless by the time Thomas is ready to calm down. Pure and then drain drain the life out yeah, of him. Drain them completely. And then there's that like what he what Thomas then likes about him will be gone because you've just drained him. Yes. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're I saying. I do hope they work out, but I just think like he needs to do a lot of work on himself if he is genuine. Yeah, because even like I said, when he was having a go at George or whatever, and also there was a situation where George and Adrian were sitting down on the sofa. Oh yeah. At, at and then all of a sudden, Thomas comes along and says, how long are you going to be? Or something like that. I'm thinking, what's wrong with you? 
Yeah, he didn't need to do that because he just went from saying to someone, "Oh, I don't mind if they if he wants to talk to him, but I'm not going to talk to him." And then you go and butt into their conversation. And exactly. The thing is, Adrian was sticking up for you, giving you time on camera with you not being in it, but he was about to like kind of reveal what things had been said so you don't look like the bad guy. Yeah. And it just came and then just kind of proved the point of what people were saying. Of what George was saying as well. And also, I, I, um, George mentioned about um, Thomas calling his wife um, the C word, C U N T. I was like, yeah. What? I said, yeah. what? Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, that, that's just some crazy shit. No. Yeah, but I feel like he's triggered by something in his past because he keeps on saying things like, I'm not going to let anyone bring me down. Like, yes, don't that, that's from the beginning. Me. Yeah, so he's got a chip in his shoulder that he's carried into the show. And I think, I get it because everyone has their traumas and stuff, but I think maybe he hasn't spoken up for himself in the past and now he's just very like passionate about doing it. Yeah. But I think he's probably watched it back and just realised that, okay, I, I did come across wrong. But obviously these things are heavily edited. And he wanted the camera time, but you just have to realise it's worth it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true. But like I said, with Jonathan, like I said, with Jonathan and Sophie, he's definitely calming down more. Yeah. He's more receptive to hearing what everybody else has got to say now. Yeah. Which is a, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. But like I said, with Adrian, with, um, sorry, with Thomas piping up the way he was piping up, mm. sort of, put him on the defensive again slightly, as in to say, he was trying to explain himself. I apologise. I, I know what I've been like. Yeah. And then Thomas started again. I'm thinking, what, what was wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. Then he said something like, um, they kind of changed the narrative. Well, what did he say to Kwame? And Kwame was like, yeah, like they just run. I think he was trying to say, Jonathan was trying to say to Kwame that they just take one thing and twist the story, basically. Right, okay. And it does happen, because I feel like, I think at this, I, sometimes I want to believe that um, Thomas is genu genuine, but then there's times when he just says things that like he knows will get the audience on his side, like the yeah. whole yeah, a man shouldn't comment on a woman's body, all of this stuff. It might yeah. be what he genuinely feels, but sometimes I feel like they were putting it to bed and now you just piped it all up again. This like is what said. he does, because he's already said it before. Why you say it again? Why are you bring it up again? And he, he can't undo it. He's done it. All he can do is apologise and actually try to grow and change. Like, yeah. And he needs time to do that. Like they said, they haven't got to know him one-to-one, -one, so they're not going to see that side to him yet. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We also have Whitney defending Jonathan as well. Oh, uh, yeah. On the table, which, which I'm quite surprised. Like, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so you've had private time with him to, to know what he's about. Yeah. And he's not exactly I, know, I, like, I was kind of like, oh, okay. And I think that mainly comes from, like, she's now an outsider. So she has to kind of get her allies now. So <laughs> she very genuinely felt that, but I think she knew what she was doing by stepping up for him. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. she knew what she was doing. The same she thinks she did with April. Yes. yes. Yeah, like always just being her, like having her back and stuff. And I don't know. I feel like with people that go in these sort of shows, some of them are very strate strategic with how they go in it and how they build relationships and who they build relationships with. Right, right. So yeah. I feel like she knew, she may have genuinely felt that way about Jonathan, but I also feel like, yeah, like no one likes me, but he does. So let me just try and like friend him up. Right. <laughs> I hear you. Right. That's a good, yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. That's true. And then you had, um, the next thing you had was Whitney and Matt. They were asked one or two questions from oh, the yeah, table. Yeah, if they've had done the deed. Yeah. We already heard, we heard Agent ask about him and, um, What's her name again? Oh, Gemma. 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 Yeah. Whether yeah. he tried, he tried enough. Yeah. So we heard that. So we've already been down that road. And then we heard um, she need to ask whether they've done the deed. Yeah. Yeah. I think no. did we need to know, know all that? Did we need to know all that? I don't know. Like, what difference did it make? Like, exactly. I don't know. It was rare. I, don't, I just feel like they don't really want them there. And um, I don't think they really liked Whitney from the get-go. So it's going to be interesting to see how them two pan out. I don't feel like if they were on the outside, they would look twice at each other. But No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't. I don't think they would. So I'm just like, is it because they were the only two that were available? Exactly. As to why they were drawn to each other. I don't know if it's genuine or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we come to the end of part one. Part two is right behind this one.
So if you like what you heard, please like, comment and subscribe. Till next time.